The Relief series links the photographic process to the much older, deeply human history of mark making. I start with an original photograph and then carve or burn, blast or paint on it, creating tactile interventions in the photograph's surface. I'm turning my photos into 3D objects that reference relief sculpture. I wanted to make pictures that look like they've been touched, that show the experience of making them. You can see my hand in every photograph. We're used to that with painting and sculpture, but we don't get to see it very often with photography. With this work, I'm complicating the idea of truth. I'm adding traces of light, scans, handmade markings, ash, bullet holes, to explore what's beyond visible truth. There we go. That's my tool. Distressing the photo may violate the representational spirit of photography, but it opens up our visual world to possibility. The first thing I do is shoot a photograph. I'm sticking to traditional landscapes and portraits because the interventions that I put on top of it are so wild and unpredictable that I wanted something that had a very uh, formal approach underneath. After I live with them on the walls of my studio for a while, then I either burn it, shoot it, paint on it. It takes a long time to figure out how the scan that I put on top interacts with the background, what place to put it in, and then after that, what intervention works best on top. It's very intuitive and it allows for accident to become a big part of the piece. You don't want too much accident because then you set the paper on fire or you rip a hole through the middle of the photograph. When I'm deciding where or how to rip, mold, or slice, I concentrate on what is unspoken, unacknowledged, unexplained, and overlooked. There's sort of an interplay of order, precision, and disintegration that creates an alchemy of an imagined place. These interventions invite the viewer to make the emotional connections based on their own past. And the cutting blades, the carving knives, the pellet gun, the bows and arrows, the flames, they're just tools for harnessing deeper meaning. I guess my goal is to create something new from destruction. When I'm making the marks on the paper, I'm finding the point where there is actual resistance to me or to the tool, or in this case, a flame. I try to go to that point where it seems reckless to go forward or until the paper burns or breaks, which of course it has. Finding that edge, though, is very often where the piece begins. It surprised me how serene some of the images turn out to be because the act of burning them or shooting them or banging on them is so violent. But the whole series revolves around this tension between precision and destruction. my way of creating a photograph about loss and absence, but also loss of control. Maybe it's a threat or a dashed hope or an unfair assumption or an impending change of fortune. These emotions deserve respect and consideration. But in our fast-paced lives, looking at art or making it is one of the few places where we get to digest them. From that tension, the meaning of the original image becomes entirely new.